from Tech Tire and Wheel here to welcome you to the Tech University Self-Sealing Passenger Tire Repair Course. In this course, we will discuss the steps for a proper one-piece puncture repair in self-sealing passenger tires. These tires are quite different from a standard passenger tire, so the repair process will also be different. So what exactly is so different about self-sealing tires compared to a regular passenger tire? The difference is that a self-sealing tire has a layer of sealant material on top of the inner liner that's designed to fill and seal punctures. This material will present some challenges when a repair is performed. Now, you may ask yourself, if the tire has a sealant built into it, why would I ever have to repair it? If you remember from the industry recommended practices module within Tires 101, in order for a tire to be properly repaired, it must be dismounted from the wheel for proper inspection and then repaired with a vulcanizing rubber stem and repair unit. The sealant alone does not meet these requirements. So when a puncture is detected, it must still be repaired following industry guidelines. The tire manufacturers also state that the sealant is not a proper permanent repair. All right, as you'll remember from our Tires 101 course, we created a simple acronym, R-E-P-A-I-R, to help you remember the steps used to perform a proper puncture repair. To review, R represents remove the tire from the wheel and inspect. E stands for evaluate the injury. P, prepare the injury. A is for apply vulcanizing fluid. I, install the repair. And R, return to service. All right, with this introduction, you are now ready to begin your self-sealing passenger tire repair course. If you have questions, contact the course instructor or send an email to training at trc4r.com. See you soon in your next Tech University training video.